For almost 60 years, the Boys and Girls Club of Kentuckiana has been helping young people who may not have had the best opportunities. And today is the start of National Boys and Girls Club Week. The president and CEO of the Boys and Girls Club of Kentuckiana, Jennifer Helgeson, and LMPD officer Lamont Washington, they're joining us now and tell us there's something exciting happening for Southern Indiana. That's correct. So we are launching our Clarksville and Charlestown Middle School Club locations. So on Wednesday, we will be launching Clarksville. And on Thursday, we will be launching Charlestown at 4 o'clock, and we invite anyone who wants to participate to come out and help us with our ribbon-cutting ceremony. And so this, there's a celebration nationwide happening all this week, but there's a kickoff for us locally happening today. Tell us about that. So today, um, we are actually going to have an open house at Newburgh, at our Newburgh Club location, and we will have a proclamation from the mayor's office kicking off Boys and Girls Club Week. We are super excited about that. Um, we'll have LMPD there to also share um, during our presentation, but more than anything, we're going to have our Youth of the Year. Jamarius Wilson, who is the state champion, he's our Kentucky State Youth of the Year, and he will be talking about the impact the club has made on his life. And talking about the impact, so nationwide, this and just in the community, how much does Boys and Girls Club help? Oh my goodness. So we are celebrating across the movement the fact that we've served 4 million kids and teens who need our services. So we have 4,300 organizations collectively, um, over 61,000 trained professionals, and here locally with Kentuckiana, we served 3,500 youth last year. So we are super excited to continue to uh, expand and serve the youth who need us most. A lot of children and teens. And Lamont, talking about LMPD, why do you all involve yourselves with the Boys and Girls Club of Kentuckiana? Well, our Deputy Chief, Michael Sullivan, is on the Board of Directors. And, uh, you know, we've done some feature videos on our Facebook page as of late to highlight some of our officers. Um, most all of us grew up in Louisville. I grew up in Newburgh. The old Newburgh Boys and Girls mm -hmm. Club was close to Mart when they had a swimming pool mm -hmm. uh, way back when. But, um, you know, it's just an, uh, a great example of how neighborhoods that don't have anything to do when you have that gap between home and school and vice versa, um, you know, it shows. And, and if we so you see a, the difference in yeah, kids who yeah. go there. If we could have a Boys and Girls Club in every neighborhood, uh, you know, it would, it would be is huge. And how can the community get involved if they want to help or support the mission? I would absolutely say um, to reach out to us. You can always contact us at our office, but um, become a volunteer, get involved, become a mentor. Uh, as, as Lamont was referring to, we always need individuals getting involved. And that could be helping our kids read. It could be um, helping with career and workforce development initiatives. So really, it's we can cater to the needs and interest of our uh, community members, but our kids, they need positive role models, mm -hmm. and that's what it's about. Just helping out. Well, thank you guys that's so much exactly. for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Well, today's celebration is from 4 to 5 as the Newberg, at the Newburgh Club. That's on 5020 Indian Trail in Louisville. There will be an open house and club tours. To learn more about these programs and activities, please visit bgckyana.org or call 502-585-5437.